Mike Zimmer loves him some cornerbacks, and the Vikings certainly needed uh, some help at cornerback as they head into the draft. But even after the draft, even after they picked up Hefe Gladney, even after they picked up Cameron Tiny Dantzler, uh, they picked up ah, Neville Clark, the pride of University of Central Florida, a guy who probably should have been drafted, but the fact that you're getting him as a UDFA is just massive value, and I think that he could surprise some people uh, heading into 2020. So let's talk about uh, the night today uh six foot one uh, a buck 90 redshirt senior a former two-star recruit from Pompano Beach Florida uh chose Central Florida over TCU I give him he could have been teammates with uh Jeff Gladney there you go uh as well as Marshall Arizona State uh, uh former teammates with Mike Hughes a part of their 2017 undefeated national championship season you can never take that away Boom. Uh, mini breakout came in 2018, uh, first year as a full-time starter. Uh, played 13 games, uh, recording 46 tackles, two picks, 13 passes broken up. Uh, was the first team all AAC. Uh, Richard season last year, uh, excuse me, Richard senior season, 2019, 22 tackles, two picks, led the team with 11 passes broken up. Honorable mention, all AAC. Uh, so overall, uh, according to five career picks, 29 passes broken up uh, in 36 career games. So he does like to get after it. He, he isn't shy about going after the football. He is a little bit uh, ball hawkish. You love that about him. Uh, was uh, was invited to the combine. 35-inch uh, vert is kind of nice, as well as that three-cone. Uh, even though it's in the lower percentile at six uh, six seconds, eight, uh, 6.88 seconds, nailed it, uh, was third overall at the combine. Now, it is part and parcel because a lot of the cornerbacks decide to skew the three-cone, but you know, is what it is. Uh, but what Neville Clark is, is he's a long press cornerback. You know, not as fluid as you would like. If he was a little bit more fluid in the hips, probably would have been drafted. May have been even been a, a mid-round pick. But uh, does have solid ball skills uh, as evidenced by the number of passes broken up. Just does not mind a- at all getting up there in press, uh, going after his men, belt buckle, to, belt buckle to belt buckle, and then uh, going after the football when it's in the air, which is something that I, I love. Again, all always give me the more aggressive cornerback than, than the more passive cornerback because you can always teach uh, an aggro cornerback to dial it down a bit a little bit you, you can't really teach the timid you just crank that up to 11 right uh a lot of what you like about cameron dantzler uh neville clark certainly has that as well you got the length you got the press skills uh you know could stand to add a little bit of weight I and mean, tater tot hot dish let's go pile that on uh and also uh, cameron dantzler was say Coca-Cola Classic, like Mexican Coke with the real sugar in a glass bottle. And then Neville Clark is like, I don't know, like Hy-Vee or Cub Cub Foods brand cola. I mean, sure. Where it'll do the job. It'll still mix with rum. It'll still mix with whiskey. It'll still do all right. But, you know, uh, there, there certainly is a difference there. But, I mean, Clark's going to have opportunity. Like I said, uh, it w- I wouldn't have batted an eye if Clark would have been a 6th or 7th round pick. I, I don't think the draft experts would have... Uh, um would have uh, flinched either. So uh, the fact that Clark is certainly ha- carried a draftable grade as evidenced by the fact that he was a combine invite. Uh, I think that he has a chance to, on the back end of this defense and the back end of this roster to make a little noise. Now, uh, is he a practice squad candidate? It's possible, but if you told me right now, Neville Clark makes the Vikings opening 53 man roster. I mean, I, I, I could see it. I, I wouldn't be upset because who, who are locks to make it? So Hughes, Gladney, Holton Hill, Cameron Dantzler, and then who else? Who else? I mean, the Vikings uh, could carry six cornerbacks uh, this year, which I certainly think they could, especially with so many things um, unsettled, so ma- so many jobs up in the air. So Chris Boyd, is he a lock to make the roster? Maybe, maybe not. What about Nate Metters? Sure. Maybe, maybe not. Mark Fields? Probably not. So I think it is a wide-open competition. And uh, if Clark does bring a lot of the skill sets that uh, attracted the Vikings to Cameron Dantzler, if the Vikings do want to get back to being a belt buckle to belt buckle, man to man, press all up in your face, all up in the grill across the board uh, type defense, uh, as it were in 2017 when Xavier Rhodes is actually Xavier Rhodes, I I love it. I I love it, and I think Neville Clark could find himself a home very quickly uh, with the Vikings. Oh, I forgot Harrison Hand. There's so many damn draft picks. There's so many damn – well, also, I I think Harrison Hand eventually is going to transition to safety too, so maybe that's why. Uh, But, man, uh, the cornerback room, the fact that Neville Clark is like eighth or ninth uh, on the current depth chart at cornerback – 
It just speaks to how deep the Vikings are uh, in youth and talent. And I love it. I like get rid of the big contracts, get rid of the dead weight, get rid of Xavier Rhodes. I, I wasn't going to pay Trey Wayne's 14 million bucks a year. Uh, plus, I mean, would have liked to have Mac back, except he wasn't coming back. But the Vikings do have a very nice, young, solid, up and coming group of cornerbacks that Mike Zimmer and Durante Jones can just get after and mold. I love it. Bring it on. Let's go. Neville Clark is, is going to be one to watch uh, in training camp as we go. So your thoughts, Neville Clark, UCF, uh, national champion, all up in the Vikings. Real lesson in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Below some of the Venmo. Please give us a follow on social media as well. But until next time, Skull, production value.